These days it seems like technology is all around us and that's nowhere more true than here in Seoul. From the moment you wake up here you're surrounded by advanced technology from smart toilets to building automation and especially robotics. In fact South Korea is now the most robotized country in the world and they show no signs of slowing down. There are 932 industrial robots for every 10,000 workers in South Korea. That's more than seven times the world average. And it's been going up by 10% every year since 2015. It means that not just factory workers, but also much of the general public are much more used to interacting with robots, which is perhaps why attitudes towards them here are so much more positive. In a Korean cartoon or the comic books, we had robots, but robots are always good for human, okay, so helping. But in Westerners, the robot means they're all destroying <laughs> human, human culture. So that is kind of, it shows some difference between the viewpoint of, for the robots. Traditionally, robots were used mainly in manufacturing, especially in Korea's booming automotive industry. But the face of robotics is changing, from industrial robots to the rise of a new kind of collaborative robot, which is impacting whole new sectors of the economy. Telecommunications, for instance. At KT, which was Korea's first telecoms company, robots are now a priority. Normally, everybody thinks of you know, robotics. They imagine the industrial robot, maybe mainly used in the automotive you know, the manufacturing side. But now we focus on the much more service robotics, like, you know, as you can see, the you know, barista robot using collaborate robot, and also the mobile robot. Uh, they have to depend on the, you know, telecommunication because we have to know whether service these mobile robots are heading to. So uh, to do this, you know, we need to enlist you know, Wi-Fi or LTE or 5G uh, telecommunications. And with the growth of this new kind of collaborative robotics, machines are increasingly used in customer-facing roles too. At this branch of Amore Pacific, which is one of the world's biggest cosmetics companies, you can have your skin tone assessed by a computer and then watch as a robot mixes up your perfect foundation. During the pandemic, the sanitation advantage of having your makeup mixed by a robot was a huge draw. 매장에서 마취화 제품을 제공하기 위해서는 아무래도 사람의 손을 많이 타게 되는데 그런 부분을 뭐 조제 관리사가 있긴 하지만 최소한으로 조제 관리사가 어, 터치가 되고 자동적으로 운영되는 부분에서 고민을 해봤을 때 어, 협동 로봇이 가장 적합하다고 판단돼서 그렇게 적용하게 되었습니다. With the corona COVID-19 situation, in fact, the the Exp uh, the acceleration of the, grand, the, the big mega trends such as wage increase and the lack of the skilled uh, resources, etc., really creating a lot of impact to the management. So uh, there's a really uh, kind of acceleration of the adoption of the robotic application here. And despite fears in some parts of the world over the adoption of more robots, in Korea, unemployment remains low at below 3%. That's well under the OECD average. It suggests that human work is increasingly moving towards a more creative role, with robots taking on more of the hard labor. Usually, a robot takes a job, but that job is not fitable for human, actually. It's a very dangerous, dirty, and they don't want to do that job. So, some area, it is imp impossible to hire the labor on that area, that place, yeah, should be play, replaced with the robots. So then it might not be very significant at the first stage. Previously, the labor was a kind of cheap tool to produce something. But as of today, uh, the human beings are, are considered as a kind of creator and value-adding activities. So absolutely, robot will replace significantly. As long as they, they sense it, this will be a kind of future model. So uh, as long as people get interested in, have a demand, we see a lot of very fast technology ramp up. And with robotic technology becoming increasingly adaptive, mobile, and focused on real human interaction, it could be that Korea has a lot to teach the rest of the world about how to live with robots.